All right, and welcome back to Season 11 Land Finals here in Dallas, Texas. If you're just now joining us, we just saw a uh, pretty impressive match from both teams uh, there on DE Forge. I believe the final score is 16-13. 13, yep, in favor of Mouse Spaz. Mm -hmm. Um, it was really interesting, especially because Mouse Bass had won the first half 13-2, to two, mm -hmm. and then SK came back with just a whole bunch of gun power, um, and they really brought it back CT side. It was funny because we were joking, saying that they were probably losing all the rounds on T side <laughs> on purpose. They wanna, yeah, they want to play that. And they wanted to show off their CT stuff, and I think they, they kind of did that a little bit. Uh, we are moving on over to Train next. Mm -hmm. Um, and that should be just, uh, you know, equally as interesting, if not more interesting. Yeah, for sure. I mean, as I kind of mentioned before, I'm just going to briefly note back on it, is these two teams are the kind of play styles that I've come to really like to watch here recently. I mean, I've always been into watching your really top-tier international teams play a more methodical way with some really impressive spams and just some awesome smokes, things like that. But I'm starting to really like this aggressive play style, and I hope to see a little bit from both teams here. It is kind of a coin toss in this map, though. I mean, unless you are very confident in your lane control on this map as a T, once you take out middle, it is very, very risky to just play so aggressive every round. But we'll see what we'll see what happens here. Yeah, it could be tough. I mean, uh, the way that I see matches being played out, there's two different ways. One way is you spend so much time on your T side, knowing that CT sided, that you you're able to put up like best case scenario eight seven. For mm -hmm. T side, um, and then the other way to play it is to just be so confident in your CT side to not ever have to practice T side. And if you get T side, you know you can lose 14-1. But if your CT side is really that good, and you know that you can kind of just like collect yourself for LAN and not get tired after 14-1 or discouraged, um, and really put forth your best effort to to execute those strats that you believe in so hardcore, I think that's another way to go about it as well. So uh, the match could be close, but even if it's not. Um, you can see a 14-1 match flip-flop and just be a 14-1 back OT and just carry out that way too. That's something else Something else I've been noticing, um, especially here at, in the invite level and beyond, um, you know, at your inter big international lands and that sort of thing is train has become more volatile. And actually, let's jump in game while we're talking about this here so we can get right into the action. But uh, train has become more volatile than it was in the past. It's not necessarily a fully, you know, um, 50, I'm sorry, um, you know, like 10-5 half is okay for CT. Yeah. You just don't know what's going to happen anymore because I, as the game gets older and older, we're 13 years old this year, guys. I mean, <laughs> new play styles are still coming up, and they're still surprising people. So it's a really exciting time to be watching some great teams play on a map like the E-Train. Did see a USP drop for Mouse Pass. That's a very traditional T-side pistol opener. Yeah, and the trick of this is to make sure that KNC right now does not know that USP exists because that gives away a one of two things. They're either going to try to take down lower and pick, or a Seb comes up and wrecks Bog. Uh, <laughs> or Bog Shagwar with the trade. Shagwar. Yeah, and there's a, a little TK action happening here. It's down to a three on four. Bombs in the hands of Arya, who is currently, I believe, falling back. Oh, no, he's actually going to push upper here. They do have a lot of USPs, so this is not exactly a bad spot to be in here. Oh, yeah, three USPs. Very interesting. Uh, that That's definitely going to play into... The factors at hand as you make your way into the inner bomb site. It's really unfortunate that SK had that um, that team kill. This is not the round that you want to be messing up. No, it's it definitely not. Especially here on pistol round, it looks like they're gonna try to make it out lower here without too much opposition. Already on top of Pop Dog, and here comes the rotate. Lawson gonna be first man in. Already on to KNC. USPs are proven to be really strong. Uh, absolutely. It's 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 just a psychological factor, even knowing that USP's down there will hold you back in lanes for way too long sometimes. FNS will take down Ocean and uh, Arya onto L's. So, wow. I mean, there we go. Ladies and gentlemen, it's already a 1 0 in favor of Mouse Spaz. I didn't expect the round to go that way because KNC was set up fairly well to help counter that round. Sure. I mean, up. Typically, like that strat you saw, especially with the spawns they're doing, they have their uh, second spawn right around third with the USP. Typically, what's going to happen is the first two spawns will go down lower ramp. They'll crown chop down, and they run down lane while the USP covers them. Yep, exactly. And it's actually a strat that we've used in the past, and it just works so freaking well. But KNC countered that. However, he died <laughs> yeah, no, <laughs> countering the counter. Yeah. And um, here we are, 1-0. to zero. And, uh, of course, this will be a save round here for uh, Team Sapphire. Coming into this round, KNC already down to 11 HP. So, obviously, Mouse Pass wants to play this very, very carefully. And uh, they have not taken much damage as of yet. Already doing quite a bit here to Sapphire. Clearing everything they possibly can. Now, they are firing weapons here in Upper, so it may just cause a little bit of a uh, rotate into a stack. Good, yep. They've got to keep working in right now, though. Arya will be able to kill Scorpion, and Seb will fall as well. Lawson having some issues here with that uh, Galil. Not the best long-range weapon sometimes. That's a good one. Yeah, the Galil's kind of kind of a piece, but 
really what Mouse Paz is doing is just taking it nice and easy, checking every box, checking every corner, not getting too antsy on pushing through because they really don't want to lose any guns. Uh, because if they, if they lost any guns, you know, if just uh, lost and alone got got uh, kind of screwed up by a deagle or something and lost that Khalil, then he'd have to rebuy or get some sort of upgrade from a teammate, and that wouldn't be too strong. And then if they want to buy Ops later, you know, their money's a little bit messed up. And Arya starting off with the ADR for sure, just like... Uh, he just was like last doing time, in Forge, yeah. yeah. That 180, I think he's got 190 right now for the first couple of rounds. All right, a lot of action happening here in middle. FNS coming outside of ladder, Lawson onto Ocean, and there's already one man standing. <laughs> Zeb will be last man alive. Deagle in hand, and a lot of time to work with. If he can at least get one more gun down, okay. Two, great. But the bomb has been planted here, and Blade spots him inside of Z. Spell the end for him. Three to zero now, so we will see a buy round here from Team Sapphire. And uh, actually, I believe I just saw an op pop up there for uh, for KNC, which will be great to see. <laughs> um, yeah, you like it? You like it? I do. Anyway, I do. so and if you guys are just now joining us, a uh, quick note, while KNC runs his way to his op spot, this is the ESCA broadcast app. Uh, hope you enjoyed it so far. We'll kind of go over some features of that as we go through the LAN. Definitely top in the business, no matter where you look. And uh, KNC... Still watching that ladder lane, so he didn't necessarily have the spawn for a more aggressive pick, and Mouse Baz not looking to cause too much trouble just yet. Um, Blade will most likely be the individual calling the audibles here on the strat as he is a lone man over here at Ivy. He's going to be definitely part of uh, making the play here as Scorpion are going to be playing at a more passive angle. Still keeping it pretty slow. Looks like Bog's going to be falling back from T mid to maybe work towards. Either ladder or inner. Yeah, can see taking his position up inside, and Aria was able to get a pick here uh, by upper. Seb's still spotting outside, so they're not too sure what to expect yet, and there's not a lot of uh, signals coming in <laughs> to Sapphire to really get a good grasp, but smokes are coming in now. That's two smokes. They were able to spot one coming down lower ramp, so they've got a pretty good idea that this is going to be a full commit. FNS does have bomb inside right now. And there we go, able to take down KNC. It's down to a 2v4 right now, Seb, from inside of Z. Scorpion from inside of Spawn. If they can catch Lawson off guard here, they may be able to work their way back Ooh. into this round, but it looks like they're already falling back at this point. Yeah, Scorpion all the way towards Z, and Seb left with 3 HP remaining. Joining his teammate here at Ivy. And it looks like it will be 4-0 to zero in favor of Team Mousepass. What a great way to start off T-Side Train. Yeah, that was really strong, uh, winning, the, winning the pistol, winning the Ecos that fall, and then the first gun is absolutely huge. I think, I think what really attributed to SK's decision to save here uh, towards Ivy was what Arya did. Arya actually pushed up all the way through inner at the upper ramp, which is really untraditional. It's super risky. That's why it's uh, not, not so much favored. Um, and... Usually a lot of players will maybe push the lower sidewalk from inner, but for Arya to push up at the upper inner, uh, make it a 4v3 down to a 4v2, um, SK really had no choice. Yep, and it uh, looks like Bug wants to start the spams off here, but Blade was able to just pick one up instantly here in middle with a full spray from the AK. And we do see a, um, a uh, half buy here from SK. They have bought up Bombuses and M4s. And great play by Blade. Get in there, spray him down, and get out. It's yep. really what you have to do at this point. Yep, and then just fall back and hold it. And it looks like Ocean and Blade are just going to be playing a holding game, kind of holding the same angle as Ocean falls back towards the Ivy. Maybe has both rolls there. Scorpion trying to figure out where he needs to be. He is in great position to help defend, but uh, he is at a numbers disadvantage right now. Being in a spot where you're completely isolated from your team when you're down a member, not a good play. No, no, not at all. So he is backing off, making the smart call here. And Blade's about to run into a little bit of trouble here, I do believe. Coming outside, Scorpion's going to be right Super up on him. Sneaky. And a dig, there it is. He's not able to pick up the frag just yet. Blade's down to 5 HP. And Blade all the way back into middle. Ls will take him down. It's down to a 2v2. Lawson and Bog going to be last standing. Oh, so unfortunate for Bog. And Lawson going to be looking for that pick, but Ls with the assist will take down Lawson. Great play there. Score now 4-1. to one. Still in favor of Team Mouse Spaz. But SK able to get around on the board here on the CT side. Yeah, I feel really bad for Bog. And that 2 versus 2, Bog was all the way back by the Ivy exit. So basically at the back lanes for 6. He had the bomb in hand and he was trying to help his teammate. Uh, trying to get that last CT, or one of the two remaining CTs up in heaven. Um, and didn't know where the other one was. But the other one wasn't even near him. He was all the way near ear, uh, near Earbox. Uh, over near Ebox. And he really could have oh, flanked Oh, here's behind. the aggressive play. 
And, and they're going to push straight oh, out of shit. Ivy. KNC taking down Blade and Ooh. also able to take down FNS. Scorpion coming up behind him. Huge. KNC actually just called the audible. He's like, you know, it's okay. <laughs> There's no one yeah. else here. So they're going to fall back towards Inner. They have a perfect idea of what's happening. As I think Mousepass is starting to realize Seb pushing into ladder. And I love this aggressive CT side so far. Aria, last man standing in a 1v4. Can he do it? Els will take him down. And that exactly will be 2-4, to to and this is that time right here. Too many teams wait too long to do that, and by the time you do it, it just doesn't matter. I mean, there's not a, too, many, too many rounds to count. It's 4-2 to two now. They have plenty of time to keep changing up their play style and throw Mouse Spaz out of their groove. Absolutely. Switch it up as early as possible. If you try something once and it doesn't work, and it wasn't because you missed your shots or something, if you if you guys just get countered, just switch it right up. And that's, that's what they finally realized needed to happen as Triple Nade's coming out of the Z. All the way into team middle. Blade Q getting his flashes ready for Ivy. Ocean's going to be coming back near his teammate to try to help counter that, that yeah. take. FNS already out. 33 health on the 6th train. Yep, him and a teammate actually had made it outside of middle with the, some really good uh, early smoke placement and some great spawns, but it's already even numbers at a 3-on-3 three three and roughly same HP. We'll see how it turns out. It's like Lawson will fall and KNC taken down FN as a playmaker so far during this matchup. Arya last man standing, bomb right in front of him, but he can't exactly just jump on top of that opportunity. He's surrounded in three different positions. If he can, They are isolated one by one, catching a dink there from over near Hell. Oh, and there it is. Hell's just able to finish him off. That was pretty sneaky. All I saw from Els was just a just a muzzle flash coming down from Ivy. It's never a comfortable feeling. Uh, it's just like, where am I getting shot from? I mean, you have 100 health, you have the bomb in hand, you're like, all right, the 1v3, I'll tackle this, no problem. Then you eat a dink, and then you're like, all right, I gained no information, where is that dink from? And then you just get shot from the shadows. Yeah, it's really frustrating it's for that to happen. It's just such a hard spot to be in. We're now 4-3. to three. Uh, Mouse Spaz so far, holding their own. Sure, I mean, they still had that. This is still technically a lead. Love that spam. However, he waited a little too long. Mouse Spaz now going to be trying to commit. So we can get over to L's here. As he gets taken down, Seb on the flank. Quick flank. Very quick flank. I don't believe he was found out um, via footstep. It's now down to a three on two. He's going to come up right behind him and spray this a little too early. Oh, he was not spotted. Bog will be taken down Bog by him. Know. FNS, last man standing. Where is he at? He has come outside oh, to plant oh, oh. the bomb. What a great way to get the bomb down here on this deco round. Now, FNS, all you have to do is 1D three members of Sapphire. No problem. Come on. Where's hey, the magic? He, you know, he's actually juking fairly well here, so they With have flashes. Not, and here come the flashes. He will not be able to blind Ocean. Great attempt, though. That was fantastic to see him outside planting after we scrolled through all the CTs that were sitting around in inner, just like, all right, where is he? And he is sitting outside like a freaking ninja planting the bomb, dark side. What a great play there. Able to get the bomb down. Let's take a look at the money system, actually. Um, see what the situation looks like. It will take just a moment for, up to, for it to update. But while it's doing that, let's take a look at the uh, fancy things. Aria currently 124 ADR on top, 11 and 5 over here on top for uh, Team Sapphire. 7 and 5 is 79 ADR. And uh, by the way, those little marks up there will tell you how each round was won and by whom. And we'll explain more of that as we go along. But uh, after the money system right now, Scorpion's sitting on 10k right now, and um, he could drop most of the team. A lot of spams coming in. The bug down to just 3 HP without even peeking, and that's the sort of insurance shots you want to find early on on DE Train. Do not have to peek your opponent and uh, do that much damage. And this is that aggressive play style. They have not pushed into enemy territory yet, but they have got really, really close. Lawson did spot a little CT footy out here somewhere. <laughs> I don't know see a guy on to. the ladder, maybe? I don't know. Maybe there was a guy high on the back of the ladder train on the ladder. Scorpion's actually already pushed up right behind Lawson. Yeah, and... Scorpion's in a great flanking position right now. If he push, if he decides to push up, he's just going to hold it for now. He might just wait for the call from his uh, inside teammate. 96 HP remaining for him. Els is going to be playing underneath bomb trains. So they're both in great position to pick up... Uh, these early frags. It's a three on five. They just don't want to get isolated and taken down one by one. That's the one thing you want to avoid in the situation, especially with Lawson with this op. Um, you know, I believe that smoke might have been a little miscommunication. Looks like Lawson wanted to pick upper, but that smoke blocked him from it. Yeah, and like he if it. he stays in that position right now, Lawson Fantastic. able to take down Ocean. Else, still underneath bomb train, and he will catch Lawson off guard. Bomb right into this. Ugh, so frustrating. So and last man standing will be FNS once again, able to get the bomb down. Scorpion, Scorpion on that flank. Of course. It's exactly what we were waiting for. It, it was really smart because uh, Els, like you said, he was holding the lower ramp at inner, 
And Scorpion knew that there was a couple of guys in ladder room, and he just decided to hold it instead of being too aggro. And just really what Els and Scorpion did there was they crunched the information. They crunched the players. The players really couldn't do anything. They didn't know how, how spotted they were by SK, um, and they had really nowhere to go. There was a couple of good picks. Uh, Lawson had a, a great off pick going in. Um, but unfortunately, SK was just, just way too prepared. And a huge Scorpion. gap in money right now. This is incredible. Scorpion, 13k. Um, and Against Boggs, 170 over on Mouse Pass. Yeah, quite impressive there. KNC already on to FNS. Ocean on to Aria. And this is a full buy, guys, for Mouse Pass. So far, not going so hot. Except spots one on top of six. Not able to connect. Blade will take down... K and C, and we're down to a 2v3 right now. Blade only has 2 HP remaining. If he can make himself to be of any use right now, ooh, never mind. Bog gonna be last man standing here, and he will be taken down. Too difficult of a round. Four yeah. to six now, and SK's starting to get in their uh, their stride here. They're really starting to pick up some momentum. SK's definitely picking up their momentum, Jim. Um, Mouse Bass had a really great opener. You know, winning the pistol has got to bring you so much confidence. Winning the next two rounds after the pistol, winning the, the first gun round, T-side train. Got to be huge for your confidence, but then to lose the next six, real bummer. Yeah, and here is the aggressive spawn from Seb, so we'll see what he decides to do with it. There were no aggressive spawns for Team Mouse Pass, but it looks like they want to be aggro in her anyway. Bomb will be in the hand of Arya, and Lawson able to take down Els there here in upper. 31 HP remaining for him, but he has picked himself up a weapon, and Seb, <laughs> I love that spot. <laughs> I really, really do. Seb was in a great position there. Uh, he was at least able to hold off that ladder push from the T's. And uh, looks like the conversation might be, well, do you want to go down there or not? <laughs> Looking at each other. And they will decide Running to go right down. Seb's in a great spot, able to take down both. Bomb is now down inside of ladder, leaving Blade all by his lonesome dark side of trains with an op. There's not many situations you want to have an op in a 1v question mark oh, scenario. And great shot God. by Blade, taking down Scorpion. Ooh. My God, just as I'm talking about how that is not the weapon you want to have, his <laughs> eagle becomes the right hand of God. Oh my goodness, that was ridiculous. And now it just seems more possible. I mean, there's 40 seconds on the clock. Um, yeah, absolutely. The and now. Blade's close range op is so effective. And Seb over here, they're both in the same position right now. So if Blade plays this correctly and keeps this right hand of God deagle hot and he makes his way up there, this could be winnable. But there's not a lot of time left. He will have to make some noise on the way there. Uh, back to back or shoulder to shoulder positions here, what they were playing, looking upwards and outside. So it's going to be very, very difficult for Blade to pull off much here. And run right into it. And he's going to attempt to go for it. He's lined up, but Seb did have the angle advantage. We'll take him down, and that will be 7 to 4 in favor of Team Sapphire. My God, what a shot. That shot Blade. was disgusting. Uh, uh, you know, really nice attempt, even on the 1v2. Um, it, SK did a great job positioning there. What they did was they had, uh, you know, just as Jimmy said, they had uh, one player watching one entry and the other watching the back. And what that really does, um, secondly, is it sets up for the trade. So once you realize where that guy is, even if he kills your first member of SK, uh, the second member of the stack can really just turn around and, and hopefully finish him off. Yep, and Ocean going to be spawning the upper, and there's not a lot of plays being made here from Mouse Pass just yet. Looks like they're trying to group up before taking in her, but L says not today. Taking down FNS, Ocean onto Aria. Blade with the trade on it onto L's, but uh, Scorpion already in position with uh, the assist. So this is a great rotation and great team play from Team Sapphire so far. They do have the numbers advantage, and it looks like Ocean will just be able to Shut down. destroy Mouse Spaz before I finish my sentence. <laughs> that was tough. Great round from Ocean. Absolutely. Um, they, they really just crushed Brown Halls completely. Mouse Spaz, um, it's tough as a T when you're getting into the brown halls. You really want to save your flashes, especially your smokes, for when you're really getting out into the lower ramp or the upper ramp, and you can't really use them to try to define some presence in the brown halls. So it needs to be a gunfight, and it's just one that they lost. They just lost it bad. So SK did a great job there in the brown halls, uh, making sure that they won that gunfight. Yeah, and Lawson taking down L's. And already two frags here for Mouse Spaz, opening up the site fairly well. Ocean with the trade, and if he can get away here and regroup with his team, this is still looking good for SK. They cannot allow Mouse Spaz to push up close, and there it is. Seb able to take down Loss, and we're now down to a 3v3. This could Big go flash. either way at this point. Great flash coming down to lower. Seb not going to waver in his position, however. Bomb is still in hand. FNS does have the bomb, as you know, on the uh, GUI here, you can't actually see the bomb by his name above his HP. 39 HP remaining for him and it's seven. Look at Seb's positioning right now is so great. This is a this is his round right now. 34 HP remaining. Stuck inside of Z, but not a problem. 
Mousepad is just scared to death to cross Z right now. <laughs> and and oh. Ocean, six, six shot from all the way back. Dark side trains. Last man standing will be Blade, and Bomb is down in a, cover, in a spot covered by three Sapphire players, and there it is. What great positioning from Seb. He was in position for each frag, respectively, especially in Z. That was uh, probably the biggest frag of the round, trying to really cut off any establishment from Mouse Baz um, over near the, the bomb train. And then what it wound up to was a 1 versus 3 in favor of SK, and SK was just set up all the way in back of lanes. They could just pick people off or pick off that last rem remaining member of Mouse Baz. Yeah, I really, really liked the way he played that out. I mean, he had a great flow of the round. He kind of had an idea of what's going, and it had to been due to great communication from his team. Like, that's really the only way you end up that consistently in great spots in a single round. And uh, Seb already taken down Blade here at Ivy, and the rest of them looks like they want to come in, or so the fake has been smelled out. One player does not mean anything, ladies and gentlemen. And there it is. L's already able to take down three. Ooh. KNC coming in for the assist. FNS, very, very low in HP. Uh-oh. I was looking see him <laughs> right underneath Ooh. him. <laughs> FNS, I approve. I approve. <laughs> he knew he knew he couldn't really do anything, so you might as well ask, you know, I'll mess with this guy. And he would get a gun down. I'm not really sure. Can we go over to the money real quick? I want to yeah, see what SK is sitting on here for the last round. They have plenty of money. Incredible amounts of money. Let's take a look Holy at the damage cow. scoreboard real quick. And it looks like L's coming in at 102 ADR. Excellent. Aria, not quite that 150, but he's still up there. <laughs> St still holding <laughs> almost an even 100, you know. Very impressive. But bad for him in regards to his uh, at 180. Absolutely. It's still half of what we're used to. Uh, Ocean was able to spot one there. He may have been blind, so it's hard to say. You're watching it through HLTV. And an AUG able to come in and take down FNS with the bomb. I wish Rambo wasn't casting source right now to ask him about that arc. <laughs> and there it is. It's already down to Lawson, and he will fall. Okay. And that will be an 11 to 4 half here in favor of Team Sapphire. What is, you know, regardless of that score, that was a pretty exciting match just because of the play that we kept seeing. It was consistent play, it was smart play. We didn't see anything really fancy, it was just good Counter Strike. You can't beat just great Counter Strike, man. Absolutely. I mean, you know, every time that, that the T's really needed to do some sort of Deagle Eco, they kept it consistent. They mm -hmm. saw that they were getting a couple of frags when they were going in to the inner bomb site, and I like that they kept trying to work with that. I like that they kept trying to work the inner site as a whole. There were a couple of rounds, like we said, where they didn't really use their smokes and flashes to get into the brown hall and really establish their take. They weren't really ready for that, but again, you really can't be burning your flashes and smoke so early on into the round. So, I mean, some some great play. It's not too. It's not um, unlikely that we see MS come up strong here. We've seen them with the pistol in this, you <laughs> right. know, before. So yeah, yeah, we've right. seen this before. So let's actually let's jump right back over into game here, and uh, let's get into the action. And I think I saw literally uh, roughly 400 guns just dropped. <laughs> um, USP, USP. And a dance party. Okay, I see what's happening now. KNC's just spotting over for the aggressive push out of Ivy. I was starting to wonder if it's actually live. Maybe I should check around a little bit. <laughs> um, Bomb will be in the hand of Ocean. So let's see what's happening. Looks like they want to head their way out of middle. Scorpion will take down Lawson. Already a numbers advantage for the T's. Finally able to get a frag here for uh, Mouse Baz. All right, Bomb's still in play. USP's in hand. It's looking good here for Team SK, but Aria is in one of the most annoying spots he can possibly find here on DE Train. As a counter terrorist, now he does spot one. He's going to make the right call and wait a second to line everybody up. Able to take down Scorpion. Going for the next one, and the knife comes oh. out and will take oh. down Aria. What a oh, play no. by Els. Aria, man, we've seen him coming up with that ADR, but unfortunately, he was, you know, that USP is meant for long range. You can't be going <laughs> and kissing some member of SK and, uh, and Z. There's no time for that. You're playing CS, man. You gotta. If, you, if it was a Glock, maybe you know I could see the rapid fire, maybe the burst coming in to try to connect. But that USP just wasn't able to do it. It yeah. happens. Uh, yeah, just wasn't the be <laughs> the best gun to have. But hey, that's what he had, and he tried to make a play out of it. Can't blame him for that. All right, Mouse Man is gonna pick up some more passive um, angles. Other, as I say that, someone pushing directly through Ivy like they own it. <laughs> And, uh, but they do have a fairly good idea of what's happening here with SK. It's too late, though. Two members of Mouse Spaz have been taken down in inner. And make that three. Aria with a flank. And Lawson going to be still outside. So this is just going to be a game of wait for them to push out of the site and try to get a gun down. <laughs> 
It's a slow game. It's a very slow game. But it can pay game. off, you know? One gun can really can really uh, change how you spend your money. You know what's better than one gun? Two guns. Two guns. Very good. <laughs> oh, my Glad God. Glad to see you know your basic Counter-Strike and math. Yeah, I'm good. And going to set up a pretty sick stack here. Able to get the dink. And they finish him off here. They don't have much of an option but to push up here. They want to survive the bomb explosion. Let's see wants to go hang out in the corner. Close flash. I guess they're just going to run directly off the other way. Yeah, they're just going to head towards CT spawn. Like, we are not dealing with that right now. Optimus Prime just showed up <laughs> up the top of stairs. Back I do up. not want to deal with that. It's the police. <laughs> <laughs> it's risky, actually, for motion. I mean, he had 31 health when he was pushed up at the lower ramp, and it's it's sometimes you're like, oh, I don't know if I'll have the time. How fast is the bomb ticking? How fast can I run? But, uh, you know, he made it. Well, usually what happens in the situation is someone waits too long to make that decision. Thankfully, <laughs> he didn't. Screwed, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, it worked yeah, yeah. out well for him. 13-4 uh, to 4 is the score now in favor of Team Sapphire. And uh, Mousepad's looking like they expected a more aggressive round from... Uh, uh, I'm sorry. Mousepad's expecting the aggressive round from Sapphire here. And uh, SK wants to push down Ivy. Bomb is in hand here. They are... Pulling all stops for this one. They are going to send one out middle, and L's with the trade. And I, I like what they did there. That was almost like a sacrificial terrorist. Like, he, he knew that he was probably going to die, but it got them great information. Arya has now been spotted in heaven, so they can start pressuring that and working their way to take over lanes and back of Darkseid. And this is the most important part of any take, is clearing every freaking lane. Too many times, people get left under oh, trains. Absolutely. And uh, still a uh, contender for uh, MVP in heaven. <laughs> there you go. Battle, King of the Hill. Yeah, and Arya's is still, still alive here. He will be finally dealt with. That's really, four now. That's really rough. I would like to take a look at the money if we can. Because Absolutely. Because Mouse Baz just force bought all Famasas. So this is their money. And this is Freeze Time start. So let's wait till it ends here and it'll let us know actually what their money is after Freeze Time. Yeah, I mean, what do you do? You, you lose the first two, and then for the third round, you force Famasas and you lose. What do you, you know, do you buy You deagles? just don't do anything, apparently. There's nothing. <laughs> like, what can you do? Yeah, there's really not much you can do. And you're down this much, it's a hard call to make. It's It really is. Like, do we just deagle up and hope? It's so tough or do because we go it's the end the of the game. Yeah. yeah. I mean, Got no time. Already a 4v5. There is one deagle in play here. I'm sorry, two deagles from Arian Lawson and Bog. What just happened? Well, <laughs> they did buy a couple of deagles. Okay. All right, Bomb has been playing, and it's down to a two on four. There better be some big plays coming up from Bog and Arya. Actually, looks like Arya got a gun. Solid. Bog, your turn. Bog, do something crazy, man. Working his way around here in the middle. Um, the positioning of the T's are going to work out in their favor. Arya has now been spawning with that AK, and here comes the game of uh, yeah, mouse, Cops and baby. Robbers. Let's <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> see what happens. Luckily, he didn't hide in that dumpster. It looks like he's going to be able to sneak away. Yeah, with he this should be able to get away. He just really needs to be careful with the angles he's dealing with, but he does not know how many terrorists are coming from that angle. He's and in a good spot. Oh, oh an ocean watch coming up. Was from a bad spot. <laughs> <laughs> Can I take that back? Yeah, I did that. 15 to 4 right now. So, uh, one round remaining possibly here in this matchup. Yeah, Mouse Spaz, I mean, they forced the Famases, they forced a couple of Deagles, and now they really have to use all of their money. They shouldn't be left with anything after this, um, as they as they need to win out just to go for the tie. So it's really going to be difficult to actually come back with this. No, it definitely is. I mean, you have 11 rounds you have to win right now. I mean, how do you even start on that? I mean, there's very much looking like we're going to see a third map here. <laughs> I mean, unless yeah. they just pull something crazy right now. Yeah, yeah. It's already a three on five. Mousepad's on the right track to get there. And there's another one. Aria, great positioning. And barely missing that op shot. Scorpion taking down Aria. Last man standing will be Scorpion. And he's about go, to get baby. hit from all kinds of angles. And there it is. 15 to five now. Here we go, baby. Yeah, Mousepad really needs to um, figure out what they're doing here. Because if they lose one more round, it'll be moving out of here. Yeah, they will be headed to the third map, which will be, I believe, Light D Light. D Light, which I don't know if either team wants to play that right now. <laughs> I don't think so. I think they just came in. They wanted to, you know, finish up around. They both want to win both maps real quick and want to get back to their hotel. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of Counter Strike to be had this weekend. Bog taking yep. down KNC and Blade on top of five. That was some great movement it looked like from his position. Yeah, he's already back of uh, Bomb Train here, popping away, not able to connect just yet. Uh oh, a little bit of peekaboo happening here. I, it, he will finally just, just sit behind I'm the train. Just gonna sit. Yeah, take a take a breather, man. Yeah, there we go. And blade onto ocean. Last man standing is Scorpion. He has been found by Arya. 
And there's another one. 15 to 6. It's starting to look a little familiar here. Not impossible, especially CT side train, but so difficult. <laughs> so, so, so difficult. hard. I mean, it's... Yeah, I mean, it's one bite at a time, but where do you start? Yeah, <laughs> like, how, do you, how do you... Where do you begin? Exactly. We'll, we'll, we'll see. You know, actually, I'm expecting to see something crazy from Mouse Spaz in the next couple rounds. Yeah. I mean, I, I understand that they can continue doing what works, but the second it gets countered, they lose. Mm -hmm. So, Mouse Spaz is a smart enough team to just do something super aggressive here in the next couple rounds, and I almost just expect it from them right now. Yeah. Um, they're fairly aware of the money right now as KNC catches a grenade to the grill. Um... Bring him down to 21 HP, and there's a quick anti-eco here for Mouse Spaz. Great little confidence boost. A little bit of money in their pockets. Let's go. And awesome. another round. Yeah. I mean, those ecos are always fun, but pretty meaningless. Uh, SK really doesn't need to do much to get some money in the bank for them. Yeah, I mean, with this kind of spread, gosh, I know we keep talking about it, but it's it's always so funny that I sit here feeling so hopeless for the team this far behind, and then by the end of it, I'm like about to pass out. I know. From, like what so just close, happened? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, SK just has a lot. They have a lot of wiggle room. They can do so much. But you got to be careful. You have to not get too comfortable with that wiggle room, which is what we saw during the last map. Yeah, you can't get overconfident because then you just you just let yourself go. It's just super, super scary. And uh, Seb taking down Blade over here near ladder. Four on five early. Numbers advantage. Still a minute 15. A lot can happen. AKs and Ops and M4s all over the place here. Not a save round by any means. Arya taking down Ocean. All right, there's another one. Down to a three on three. Mouse Spaz once again back on track for a great round. Now they've got a pretty good idea of uh, the positions, but that smoke's going to make it difficult to find the frag. Scorpion on top of ladder. Falling back. L's going to hang out outside. Lawson enter. And Seb looks like they just need to regroup at this point. That looks like uh, hopefully a decision they're going to make. And it's hard to make a decision from this point, because does L stay? Does he risk getting shot by FNS right now with that op? Does he move to regroup with his team? If they lose L's right now, it's not going to be much fun for them to take enter. It's really tough, but what was great for SK was that Mouse Spaz actually split outside and wasn't watching the Z connector. So what Lawson had to do at enter was he had to stop watching enter completely and had to focus on the Z hallway. All right, Lawson has taken down Seb. Oh, and Scorpion's going for another one here. He's chasing down that off, but Ooh. Lawson just right on top what a shot. of Pop Dog. Now down to a 1v1. Bomb in hands of L's here. All right, Lawson's got an idea, but he will miss the first op shot. That is a huge disadvantage in the situation. 47 to 100 HP, and oh, nice shot mid-air, ripping his freaking head off. Holy crap, yeah, that <laughs> that was the shot that he needed to hit. I mean, he was doing great all round, just playing really patiently. Event, uh, you know, Initially, he was started at the lower inner ramp, and he was double-zoomed, just trying to spot some feet. And then there was some confusion with Z, and then eventually just fell all the way back. And he was like, all right, forget it. No, but I mean that's that's what you want to do at that point. Yeah. And I, I I've I've really respected the play that we've seen from most of the players so far during this matchup. And once again, regardless of score, there is some great great plays being made by both teams. All right, and uh, looks like that may just looks like they just want to fake right now. I mean, they're sending people all over the place. I see one headed towards inner, one down ladder, one out middle. Flashes and smokes coming from mid. So this is definitely going to be a heavy outside fake mm. to um, a split inner. It looks like. I mean, Seb's coming in as the entry man into the bomb site. Oh, oh my no. god, Lawson. Barely missing that. Catching him in the leg. Bringing him down to 16 HP. Ocean and Scorpion following that up with two more frags. 2v4, 2v4 now. Could be it. This very well could be, Connor. I'm, I'm not sure what can really happen from this point, especially when Els does that. Last man standing will be Bog. Oh, and he's oh, still, he's still on, the the ladder. Ladder. He's on the ladder! Oh, and he will be taken down by Scorpion. And that's just something I love about Counter-Strike, even though it's really annoying, is that that one, not even millimeter. Oh. You, you practice it so many times, you do it so many times, you're never 100% <laughs> on point with that. That's all you need, man. I mean, and, and that just happens to the best of us. I mean, that happens to everybody. Oh, nuke and the vents, you know, it just happens. But it's man, really tough. you know, it's not like, you know, that shot would have won him the match or anything. Yeah, no, no, no. Bog was really <laughs> out of position there. His whole team was dead. It was an impossible round to win. Um... But that that is going to move us into the third map of this best. There, of there we go. <laughs> I was like, well, you're still watching this game. Um, yeah, we're going to be headed into DE Light here in just a moment, um, which 
I, I kind of said it earlier that I don't think either team wants to play it. Not necessarily. I mean, sure, it's a third map. It's late. Um, it's their first day. They've got a lot of Counter-Strike coming. Both teams want to finish as quickly as possible and move on with confidence or knowing what they have to deal with in lower bracket. Sure. I mean, that is the situation they're in right now. But it's not just the third map that I think bugs them. It's DE Lite. I've, there's some weird things that happen on DE Lite that aren't really understood. I'm not saying it's aliens, but it's aliens. Like, it's it's weird. Like, it just takes the most... The most just solid teams with great strats and really solid team play and throw them on light sometimes and it just disappears. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think it could be a, a total repeat of what we were saying could happen on Forge. I think that light's still being worked out. I think that um, in other cases, like on our default core four, like train, nuke, those kind of things, we've been playing them for eight years, you know. We have uh, plenty of demos to be watching from international teams. Yep. We see what people are doing all over the world over years of uh, gameplay on these maps. And then you get these maps like Forge. You know, you can try your, your old cobble strats, but they're, they're not going <laughs> to work. It doesn't work. You have you know, this whole new little thing. And cobble. <laughs> yeah, and then you got Light, who's just a complete curveball. And it's just, it's not played out to its fullest, to its fullest extent yet that um, other maps have been played out to. So, yep. I mean... Teams still are trying to figure out what's going on, and again, I think that uh, the biggest time where we see new strategies coming out for light are at LAN events, when everyone saves their, their heaviest strats, or even if your strat is just run and gun, uh, <laughs> right. for now. And then, yeah. you know, the team that loses really is the one that's learning the most, because you're like, you know, crap, I couldn't uh, I couldn't pull off, uh, you know, holding B or something. Something to watch out for during this match. We're getting ready to go to commercial break, but I just want to let you guys know, during this next match, be ready to see, and this is something that... I, I'm not sure it's going to happen here, but most of the time what you see at this level of play is more strategy on T, on CT side than you do T side. It's all about positioning on this map, especially in the A bomb site, and how you choose to play B, whether it's aggressive or passive, and how your flashes end up, and how you just want to play it. There's so many ways to play it, so there's going to be some really interesting things hopefully coming up. But don't go anywhere. We'll be live here in just a few minutes with our next match on DE Lite.